Okay, I've got an article and I have a video. The article is the one that I posted on the blog at remnagod.org on Friday. It's about this little kid, seven-year-old boy, that his mother puts Bible verses in his lunchbox, and then when he has lunch, he, he shares them with his classmates, and they all got excited about it, and they wanted copies, and one little girl actually walked up to one of the teachers and said this is the most beautiful story she's ever seen, and that's what ended it all, because the teacher got all upset, yelled separation of church and state, and then sent the police to this kid's home to tell him he can't talk about Jesus or any kind of religion in school, in an American school, right? Check this out. In an American school in California, this is happening. For religion may please. It's, un, it's preposterous. It's Some Manhattan Beach Middle School parents feel the school has crossed the line. This is... Pretty, it's illegal, basically. Mm -hmm. you, you can't teach religion in schools anymore, but apparently that, mm -hmm. in, in this particular school at least, that's not the case. They say they recently discovered their son's homework assignments on Islam were more about actually learning the faith than the history. One question asked him to write down teachings from the Koran. What I saw written in these bubbles was the one true God, Allah, in one of the bubbles. And one of the other bubbles was all people must submit to Allah in another bubble. Now I turn the page over and I see the five pillars of Islam. One of the five pillars he had to learn? Shahada is the testimony of a faithful Muslim that Allah is the one true God. Okay, so why are they doing this? Well, if you go to the main website, remedygod.org, and you um, go to the RCC Exposed section and scroll down to the Pope and Islam, you'll see that the Vatican was the first to push Islam and Sharia law and the worship of Allah in all Roman Catholic schools many years ago. I have it all documented on this page. But why are they doing that? The prophecy is clear. When they enforce the mark of the beast, they're going to stop people from buying and selling. This is why you see a cashless society headed our way, right? So they can have control over the money. The cashless society will be based on electronics, of course. And so that'll go on for a while. But then eventually, there's still going to be some very strong Christians that will refuse to receive the mark. And so there's going to have to be put forth a death penalty. But here's the problem. Even though they do have a lot of violent video games, violent movies, and uh, violent um, sports, wherein a lot of people already very violent in their heart, and uh, the hatred of Christianity has already gotten to a boiling point in most nations, they have to be able to come up with a religious law wherein it's legal to kill Christians. And Sharia law is it. They're the only ones on this planet right now that are actually beheading Christians, and the prophecy is clear. Those who refuse the mark will be beheaded. And this is why, if you go to the warning section of my site, you go to Government Gone Bad, scroll down to guillotines in America. I did a video about these guillotines. There's over 30,000. Well, that was years ago. There's probably twice that many now. But the guillotines are already here, and they're going to be coming out of mothball soon so as to push the fear factor, if you will. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, Sharia law allows for this, and so... They have to teach it in the schools to indoctrinate the children so that by the time the children graduate and start voting, they won't have a problem with Sharia law. Just like how they indoctrinated the children in the last 15, 20 years in regards to homosexuality. Now they're all voting pro-homosexuality, even though the homosexual movement is the smallest minority on the planet. But most kids have been indoctrinated years ago to vote for it. I hope you understand what's actually being said here. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. God bless.